What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are just going to do a quick training guide for the new big time Augentalar. So if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize. It looks like Augentalar, right? But I've never really heard of this player. He obviously was before my time because I'm such a young fella, right? But this guy is a beast of a player, okay? He's a beast of a player. Um, born in, this card is from 1989, uh, this big time. He's 83 overall, but look at the stats, man, that this guy has, right? He's got a wavering form, on form as natural, but then the rest of his stats for defensively, he doesn't have interception, which is interestingly interesting enough, right? But he does have man marking blocker, sliding tackle, captaincy, and fighting spirit with weighted pass. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Beckenbauer. Um, he's not as he's. I don't think he's going to be as good, but we do show you an outrageous build that we can have with him, right? Which kind of makes him, I think, going to be one of those top 10 center backs, right? Especially statistics wise. Um, let's see how he does play as a build up. But yeah, build up beside a destroyer is really, really nice at the moment. If you're playing a 3 5 2, I would usually either have two build up or two destroyers with a build up. I'd either have two build up with a destroyer or two destroyers with a build up, right? So this guy is a really, really good player. We're going to show you two builds for him, two specific builds. Um, one of them depends on giving him a, a couple of additional skills and one is just straight up a really good option to have on your squad or else you know on your bench or your team okay okay so we are over here on eFootballDB.com and we're going to show you the first build so the first build is literally pumping in everything into three stats right we're going to pump 11 into aerial strength 13 into defending that's going to give us a player like this with 90 header 90 of defensive awareness 95 tackling 94 aggression and 93 defensive engagement 70 speed from default with 85 jump and 87 physical contact now it would have been nice i think um and slightly massively overpowered if he was able to get 88 in physical contact and jump as well that would have been asking too much but there is a bit of play that you can do with this card especially for the aerial strength if you want to cap that at 88 and leave the rest of the stats there but i would definitely encourage if you are doing that to give him aerial superiority acrobatic clearance interception and possibly heading as well that is where his weaknesses lie. Now, if you have a look at the likes of Cardoba or Cannavaro that are smaller center backs when you're comparing them to the Giants, you know, the Giants like um, Van Dijk or Meccano or any of those really tall center backs, you do need to have those player skills. Heading and aerial superiority are a must um, for a center back that is going to be losing uh, or, you know, having a go at like 50-50s in the air. If you come up against somebody that has got a target man up front and you're not used to playing against it, you need to have a center back with the skills that you're seeing on the screen here. And I would also throw heading in there as a 50-50 one, you know, that you prob probably should try and give as well, okay? So with that in mind, if you're just looking to, you know, to get this guy and have him as kind of like an all-round baller, kind of like your player, right? That you would play him instead of, you know, your fast kind of mobile one, right? You could actually change to this build here, which we're going to have a look at now. So this is the second build, right? And I think that this, even though it doesn't go to the 96, you can get him to a 96 overall, right? That's not a problem. You know, with any of these cards, you can get him to a 96 um, if you boost them up, you know, and do the auto allocation, right? But they don't usually give you the best version of the card. Look at this version of the card here that we have, right? So we've taken a little bit from the defending, which gives us 88 defensive awareness. When he's on player form arrow is going to be up. That's going to be into the 90 zone. We also have 88 header. That's going to be in the 90 zone. And we also have jump, which is in the 88. That's going to be in the 90 zone. On top of that, we have physical contact. We have acceleration. The reason why I've boosted up the acceleration or the dexterity for into that is not for acceleration. It's for balance, right? This guy with the balance will go into the 70. Uh, with the player form arrow, even if it's not in the fully, fully up form arrow, I think it's going to be an outrageous card. Let's genuinely. Aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, interception, and heading. Any of those will be a great addition for his additional skills. But if even if you can put on one or two of them, that would make a big difference. If you can put on all four, holy moly, this guy is going to be unbelievable, right? So we will be back with Demichelis. Demichelis is down as a DMF, but let me know what you think of this guy, lads. Is he a big time worth your time? Let me know, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit.